Well, how y'all are this afternoon? It's your buddy George Jones over at Top Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on, hey, I got this old used gun. Uh, about six months ago, I bought a Taurus convertible rimfire revolver. And I uh, did a video on it, did an evaluation video on it. And uh, just like I'm doing now. And I found it to be a pretty fair shooter, pretty fair gun. Uh, wasn't barn burningly accurate, but it was good gun. It worked and it was convertible. You could change it from 22 Magnum to 22 Long Rifle and back again easily, quickly. And that's this gun, the Taurus 992. This is called the Tracker. 22 long rifle, 22 magnum. Uh, this gun is, uh, well, I've had a chance to shoot it <clears throat> and I had a chance to evaluate it. Neither the gun has gotten better or I have gotten better with it, one of the two. So I thought with that in mind, I'd make a little update video on this gun, which I think is probably one of the best designs that Taurus has right now. Uh, I've gotten to be a big fan of Taurus over the past few years. Uh, they're a little cheaper than a Smith & Wesson. Matter of fact, they're a lot cheaper than a Smith & Wesson. And they give as good or better service than a Smith & Wesson revolver in the same class. Um, some of the Tauruses are made in South America and some of them are manufactured here in America. But having said that, uh, we're going to give this old gun another try. Now I've noticed that the accuracy potential of this gun has actually improved. <clears throat> I think that's on the basis that the barrel has burnished in to where it's going to be for a while. Uh, a 22 Magnum round is very close to being a high powered rifle type round or very close to being a centerfire type round, it has enough velocity and enough uh, heat from the burning of the powder charge that's in the cartridge to warrant it having a gliding metal jacket as opposed to a copper plated bullet. Uh, it's almost, it's the same bullet that you would find in say a 22 Hornet, you know. It's, it's like a high-powered rifle, except it's rimfire. Uh, with that in mind, it's possible for the uh, bore of the gun to burnish in much in the same way a, uh, a high-powered rifle would burnish in. We all know, you know, that, that you get a new high-powered rifle, it doesn't shoot consistently until uh, you get enough rounds downrange to actually burnish that bore in or you get some lapping compound and some steel wool you run through it time and time and time again try and burnish it in on the bench either way so i'm got this thing loaded up with nine rounds i've got a uh, <clears throat> b27 silhouette up down there at uh, 15 yards and uh, we're gonna i'm gonna shoot it, it off the bench and we're going to go down and look at the accuracy potential of it now. Okay. And here we go. Oh, well, let's do this on double action. Yeah, it's a double action revolver. Let's do it on double action. It's got that same old hard ejecting. Problem with the 22 Magnum is, especially in a revolver, the 22 Magnum is slightly tapered and it has a lot of chamber pressure for the size of cartridge it is. And sometimes, given one brand of ammunition to the next, 
cartridges swell a little bit and they're hard to get out. And let's see, that's what I get for trying hard. Uh, that's uh, nine tens. Hmm. Uh, it could be said that that gun shoots pretty good. The accuracy potential of the gun has actually improved um, by whatever means. The accuracy potential of the gun has actually improved. Now, one of the miracle things about this <clears throat> particular design is in the past, if you had a double action revolver, wind blowing about 40 mile an hour. In the past, if you had a double action revolver, you were pretty well stuck with the caliber that it was. I mean, you had to send it off to the factory. If you had a Smith & Wesson kit gun and you wanted it to be 22 Magnum, you had to send it off the factory. Uh, with this guy, it's a little bit different. 22 long rifle cylinder and crane. Come up here. Lift your crane up just a little bit. Push in on that button. Pull that off fire. Come over here. Push that button. Put that guy on there. Now you're 22 long rifle. So let's load it up with some 22 long rifles and see how it shoots at the same range on the same target. I'll shoot the... Uh, about the nine on this one, see how it shoots, see what the accuracy potential is from 22 Magnum to 22 Long Rifle. Now I've never done this, so I don't know how it's going to work out. There we go, all louded gliding, we're all gliding, all right. Let's see how it goes here. Let's do single action. At the uh, at the eight. I could, I could, I could take her to do this thing. Party will walk back and forth to the target line. It's a little wider. Uh, it's a lot wider, as a matter of fact. And they're all around the eight with one or two flyers, but uh, that's. I, I noticed that with a. A gun that is convertible. Uh, I noticed that with my Ruger uh, new model single six that um, it shoots 22 magnums better than it shoots 22 long rifle. And I think there's a few ten thousandths difference in the bore. Okay. I think a convertible 22 revolver is set up to be 22 Magnum. And, uh, you know, because there is a little difference between a 22 Magnum barrel and a 22 long rifle barrel because the bullets are vastly different in their design. So I think they go after the accuracy for Magnum and then, uh, the long rifle setup is just an afterthought. I think that's the way this one is, because I noticed over the past few months as I've shot it more and more that the uh, 
potential for accuracy with 22 long rifle is lower than the potential for accuracy for 22 Winchester Magnum. And it's just, just, just the way it is. Uh, apparently, this gun shoots uh, 22 Magnum much better than it shoots 22 long rifle. But uh, there's an accuracy comparison on a convertible gun, which was actually what I was after. Uh, so typically it'll shoot one better than it does the other. Uh, the velocity and pressure of the 22 Winchester Magnum cartridge uh, pretty much requires that the gun be designed, bored, and set up for 22 Magnum. And the 22 long rifle, although it will go through that barrel, is probably not uh, going to be as accurate. I've noticed that on just every, about every convertible gun I've ever seen, uh, 22s, if it's set up for 22 Magnum, 22 long rifle doesn't shoot through it as well. So, uh, a little something to think about. However, this in 22 Magnum is an absolutely barn burning gun, and uh, you can still get pretty acceptable accuracy out of it with Magnums. So, something to think about. Also, I've heard in the SHOT Show rumor mill that um, they're going to come out with a 218B <laughs> cylinder for this gun so that you can shoot 218Bs through it, which, you know, a 218B bullet is a little bit smaller than a 22 Magnum bullet, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Maybe it's one of those things like the 28 gauge judge. It just ain't going to work out for them. Uh, anyway, there you go. A little accuracy, a little update on the Taurus 992 revolver. Uh, if you enjoy my content, like, take, share, like, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, drop a bucket. What is it? Drop a dollar in the bucket on your way out the door. The old Patreon link. Uh, and I'll tell you the truth, if I never get a dollar off Patreon, that, that's just too bad. I'll keep creating content for my subscribers to view. All right, then. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good day.